This is Pauline for Swirly Do's Kit Club. I'm so excited to do this video, yet very, very nervous, because it's my first one. I hope you will be able to understand everything I'm saying, because, you know, I'm a Dutch girl, and speaking in a different language is not my strongest point. So, please have mercy. Okay, let's get started. In the Swirly Palooza thread, I hope I pronounce it in the right way, I posted some prepping inst instructions for what you could do um, to prep the covers of our storage binder. I've prepped mine already, colored the outside edges on both sides and the binding strip on one side. We start with the, our binding. This will be my outside for the binding. So I flip it over, get some glue out, put some glue on the binding. I like to spread it out with my finger. Once you get a good coverage, I place it in the middle of my, my paper. Now, you can get a brayer to get it good adhered, but I use a simple one. Now for the covers, you do the exact same thing on one side. This will be the inside. Once again, I spread glue out. And you will adhere it with a little space. Let's say about two, three millimeters. And on the other side, you can add glue to the paper or to your chipboard. Spread it out and put the other one so that it will be good for closure. While the paper is still moist, I like to get my scoring tool and press a little down to the paper. Fold it over and open it up, again with the other side. Then I flip it over and I will now adhere my uh, pattern paper. For this part I like to take double sided adhesive. That is enough. Alright. Now the back side. I want to start with this part and once again I just take double sided adhesive I came up with this binder a year ago because I was so so fed up for searching for my right color blending foam that I thought I had, have to come up with a solution for this. I want them organized. So that's when I uh, thought of this binder. Because I think everyone who loves distressings uh, just needs one. Voila! And my covers are done. Then afterwards you can ink it up and you have a great colored cover. So I won't do that for now because it will take too much time. We just start on the inside. I also posted in the, in the thread to get uh, something like this. We call it page protectors and I just cut off the edges and then on one cut it off in half. 
so you will have one and a, and a half. And I choose my papers for that one too. Sorry for reaching in front of you. All around I leave some white space. What I've done, and I have prepped one ahead, this will be adhered to your inside cover. I stitch to the paper and underneath the paper. So when this is uh, glued down to the, to the inside uh, back cover, you have one that flip o flipped open. I also added a strip of cardstock, which is sewed to the page protector too. So I will now let you see why and how I did this. This is the right one and this is the left. So you have to put the strip of double sided adhesive to the back of the left side. I like to do this this way because of the double sided adhesive. Make sure you line it up correctly and just flip the flap. I noticed that my uh, strip of double sided adhesive is right here. I will flip this open and I just give this a real quick straight stitch. As you can see, voila, one stitch. Now flap your plastic over your paper and give it another stitch, I would say a quarter of an inch. All right, cool. What I did with the other, I just, in the middle, in your fold, you will add some adhesive. Place it down on your craft sheet. And Place it. Place your plastic in the crease of towards the crease and fold it. Just give it a quick straight stitch. Okay, that will do. Now comes the fun part, guys. I promise. We need to make sure this is adhered very, very well. I will be doing only half because the other side I will use glossy accents. I don't trust the Eileen's to adhere uh, plastic that well. Okay. Will bubble. Once the glue dry, it dries, the bubbles will disappear. As you can see, this uh, little flap is not adhered. So I will take my glossy accents and just scribble a little over my plastic. Press it down. That's one. On to the, uh, to the next one. Make sure you hit the sides real well. Glue the second one down. Some glossy accents. This won't come off, I'm sure. I told you to cut six strips chipboard, one by twelve. I've taken all these, I glued them all together and put labels with the colors. And I will show you the last one, because I already did five. Take your glue gun, 
and I use my um, the side of my glue gun to spread it out. Then my second one I pressed against it. Hold it for a few seconds again and then squeeze the sides. And another one. They come in a row of 8 times 6 makes 48. Take your strip, add some glue, leave a tiny little space at the top. Eyeball it and there you go. Done. And you can put all your foam uh, told you to um, cut velcro at one inch. We put three on one. I like the soft part onto my um, math boxes. And one in the middle. Put the backings on and do this to all your rows. You want to uh, squiggle a little. On this side, I put some. I will put some Velcro too, and on this side. That's my first one. Put some hot glue on the other side of the Velcro. Search for your mark. And put it down. I will quickly to the others as well. I don't glue side by side. Just on the little pieces of Velcro. There you have it. I think I will cut cut three inches off. That's it. I'd like to cut that in half lengthwise and in half again. Again, I use the um, soft spot on the inside of my cardstock all right put their backings on I think I do the middle the middle flip it over and just press to your mat, match box, the side to it. Let it sit for a minute, let the glue cool down. There you have it. Just need a little more, a bit more glue. Your top. And maybe you can bend it over like this and do your bottom as well. And the last one. One at the top. Alright. These are ready to go. The middle. Lift it up and bend it down. Oops. Okay. 
quickly putting my phones in. All right, good to go. And I will glue them like this, very quickly, directly to the binder. And number five. Get my extra foam. Other way around. And look, it will close perfectly. There you have your storage binder. What I use for uh, the cheap foams stamp foam pad right and I um, use my sharpie to cut strips of the foam I mean on, on, on the blending tool there's velcro what I do is take the soft velcro glue gun and then voila ready to go. If you want to, you can use um, ribbon. I will just get the old binder to show you what I mean. Add ribbon along the binding, not some string on it. Add a ring. You can hang your blending tool on it. Also, what I wanted to show you, why I um, used Velcro. Because if you want to use just one row, but you can take it off and have your row with colors in front of you, of which you want to use. I hope you enjoyed every little tip I told you. Have a lovely day. Bye.